This is Dickie Jo Mullen in Orlando, Florida, coming to you with some astrology. It's a celebrity horoscope today about Mary Noel, the witch of Fox Point, Wisconsin. The magic of Mary Noel is inextricably linked to art. Over nearly half a century through art, she magically charmed her cottage and the surrounding acreage on the Wisconsin shore of Lake Michigan. Her statues and various creations became the source of elaborate legends, murder, drowning, disappearances, and other supernatural happenings were related to what Mary created. The locals circulated tales about this mysterious woman. She lived all alone, never marrying or having children. Gradually, maybe inevitably, she became labeled. Labeled as the witch of Fox Point, Wisconsin. Mary L. Noel was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin on September 6th. 1914 to Leo, a Milwaukee attorney, and Emma Noel. With her son and Mercury conjunct in Virgo, Mary was a bright student with a flair for detail. In 1928, when she was a young teenager, she won her first art contest. She was the only girl entered in the contest, and her award was for building a model airplane. She was born with Mars and Venus in Libra, the sign of art and beauty, and she continued to explore art through her school years. Mary eventually graduated from the School of the Art Institute of Chicago in 1937 with a teaching certificate and a bachelor's degree. Then she worked for a number of years as an art teacher. Her moon was in Aries, a sign which has an affinity for the young and also for leadership. Her birth was at a full moon following a lunar eclipse. Often eclipses accompany the birthdays of unusual or influential people. This further indicated her potential for affecting others and promised a natural lack of non-conformity. She was a non-conformist. Her Chiron in Pisces reveals her compassion, charity, and her conscientious effort to assist others. Mary eventually tired of teaching and left it to devote herself to an art career. This led to her traveling throughout Europe and Egypt, during which she continued to study art. Later, she moved into her family's home and opened a pottery studio. Her parents passed away during the 1960s, leaving Mary the cottage and quite a fortune, I think, from the law practice that her father had, and this freed her to fully express her creative ideas. Mary's cement sculptures, paintings, wind chimes, wood cutouts, jewelry, assemblages, and other compositions began to appear. Her inspiration came from the beautiful natural surroundings of her lakeshore cottage. This fired her fertile imagination. She was born with Jupiter and Uranus, both of them retrograde, in Aquarius. And this added originality with a counterculture twist to her futuristic and ancient themes. She often used power tools, too, which is very Uranian. Mary was really out of sync with the more familiar fine art styles of her time. Whether their reactions were positive or negative, passers-by would often stop to marvel at her ever-changing and growing conjurations included in her yard. Her original and eclectic creations earned thank-you notes from some, but harsh comments and even censure from others. Mary's natal chart shows a stressful and unstable 
Cardinal T-square involving the Aries Cancer and Libra placement she had. Solemn and serious Capricorn, the empty cardinal sign, forms the empty corner of the T-square, and this challenging influence shows some problems. She became increasingly isolated toward the end of her long life, and this led to symptoms of paranoia and even mild mental illness. Following some home break-ins and vandalism, Mary withdrew from welcoming visitors more and more. Finally, she surrounded her property with barbed wire and no trespassing signs. Her Saturn-Pluto conjunction, combined with Neptune, all in Cancer, describes her strong family legacy and a focus on her heritage. Mary often revealed to friends that she could not have lived on her art. Her attorney father had invested wisely, and at the time of her death in 2001, at age 87, Mary's fortune had grown to almost $10 million. So what did she do with all of that money? She established a foundation to award fellowships to benefit individual artists in the Milwaukee area. Her home, including its contents, was left to the Kohler Foundation. This is a foundation that preserves art environments. Efforts are underway to preserve the site for posterity. Mary's lifelong mission, her history, permeates her home. Otherworldly, it sweeps visitors with a sense of freedom. More than 60 sculptures of glass and cement still cover the property. Many are childlike and innocent stone figures seeming to have been frozen alive in time. This contributed to the whispers that the place is under a spell and continue to surprise others when such things might be possible. They seem to move, change, and reinvent themselves, almost as if the sculptures are alive. Is it an illusion, or is Mary's spirit really there? The address of the Mary Noel Cottage is 7328 North Beach Road, Fox Point, Wisconsin. Interviews with Mary filmed at the site are available on YouTube. There's also a Facebook page with updates about the Kohler Foundation's plans to preserve her home and her garden. I used a noon horoscope for Mary because her birth time is unavailable and she had the sun in Virgo, 13 degrees, moon at seven Aries, full moon lunar eclipse, 19 Virgo for the Mercury position, 29 Libra for, for Venus, 14 degrees Libra for Mars, Jupiter at 14 Aquarius, exactly trying Mars in air signs. That's interesting. Mom, Mars is um, also joining um, the Venus with a wide conjunction and it's just kind of um, interesting that combination. Her Saturn at zero um, Cancer, Uranus at eight Aquarius retrograde along with her Jupiter, Neptune at 29 Cancer, Pluto at two Cancer. Her North Moon node was five Pisces. That would have made her so charitable with what she was able to leave. Her Chiron at 16 Pisces and her Ascendant or Rising sign using the noon chart comes in at 29 degrees Scorpio. It's said that only the strongest souls come into this lifetime with a Scorpio Ascendant. And that seems to be very true of Mary with all of her gifts and family advantages. Her road was kind of a rocky one and the world she created out of her art was what made it joyful and worthwhile.
This is astrologer Dickie Jo Mullen in Orlando, Florida, presenting what I hope will be an interesting celebrity horoscope for you to contemplate of quite an unusual life. Mary L. Noel, N-O-H-L is the way she spelled her last name. <laughs> 